So it is called Enlightened Up, and I have a lot of comics on it. I have a lot of comic actors and writers, and I really try to bring in people that I enjoy. I enjoy their vibration, their energy. That's so much a big a part of it for me. I live my life like that. I have friends from kindergarten and third grade, and I stick with the people that are of the light. They're, they have a happiness and a joy inside of them that they spread out to the world. This is the intention of the show. It's called Enlighten Up for a reason. And there's a reason I called this guy in. Listen, there's more famous people than you. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you kidding me? First of all, I'm, I'm shocked. You have friends? I didn't even know you had any friends. I have a few friends. Right, well. They come in here, and they take that seat, and we have a joyful time spreading this through the world. Don't you think uh, the world needs more of this? Absolutely. I believe in enlightenment, and I believe in yeah. being humble and, yeah. and helping and people and being kind. Yeah. And we've lost that. We've really I, lost that. I think so, too. Now, let me ask you a question. Just to dive into that, sure. do you think we lost it, or do you, do you think because of social media, it's now being seen? There, there could have been a bunch of horrible people out there. We just didn't know about it. It's, <laughs> you got a pamphlet, maybe, uh, we're in or show saw it on the news. We're, well, we're in show business. We met all those horrible people. We uh, did, yeah. I think that uh, I, I think it's always been there, but I think that people now they focus on you know I got to make money. I got to I got to yeah. be powerful. Chasing I've got to yeah. just brutalize people i've just got to step on anybody to to make it more than ever like yeah. when we started you know but it's so easy to be nice and kind and i'm gonna help be, i'm gonna debate you i don't think i think okay. it's always existed oh, oh no no i'm not saying absolutely i just think more no i think it always existed but i don't I think, think it's you, even oh, anymore think, i just oh, think, think, think that we're more aware of it because of social media okay all right because I, I everyone's know. out there now you can see someone being yeah. a horrible person right do you realize that you that's can never true. see that unless they were your pen pal that, that's right. You know, that's right. Yeah, right, right, right. Or a little group that you're in, and somebody acted like a jackass, jackass. and put a lampshade on right. their head, whatever it was, or they were mean, or they whatever they did. You make a very good point. Yes. I think this. I've been analyzing this. I really do believe that we're just more aware of because it's it's on our face every day. Like right. you, you see people, you go, I didn't know he was an asshole. Right. 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 You, right. See, right. Him, you right. see a post, and you go, this guy's horrible. Horrible. Man, I would have been friends with him and never known it. Exactly. And, and with social media, they play yeah. over and exactly. over and over again. Exactly. I think you're right because all before it was like, I heard a rumor about this guy. Oh, I can't be true. Wow. Well, I mean, look yeah. at there's there's cases like Roman Roman Polanski, what he was oh, doing back then, that's, right? That's and that's true. just who was caught, Fatty Arbuckle. Yep. Uh, cool. We've heard a lot of these legendary uh, murders, and you know, uh, I think what's his name, uh, <laughs> Hogan, Colonel Hogan, was oh, apparently involved you, oh, in some, you mean, some uh, dicey, right? Oh yeah, uh, Bob, Bob Crane. Crane. Uh, Bob Crane was involved. Dirty, in dirty, right? Yeah, yes, in this really like underground, you know, he they did his own about, pornos or something. Sure, right? his buddy got jealous, and then he yeah. killed him. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't know, I well, guess. Well, uh, allegedly, but allegedly. there's you know, there's all these yeah. murders that have taken place here. Obviously, we know the house that's on the Manson murder. <laughs> Uh, right. uh, yes, we do. Our, yes. our good friend Jeff. Jeff, yeah, yeah. And I had no idea until a few minutes ago. You did warm up for Full House, not Fuller, but Full. I did. I am one of the blessed guys of the world. I did the warm up. I did warm up for ten years, but I got wow. to do warm up for Full House. And you know, Bob uh, Bob Perlo, he did all of them, but he, I guess he couldn't do a couple. And I, they called me, and I did it. Became friends with Jeff, Dave Coulier, sure. Bob Saget. God yeah. bless his yeah. soul. Uh, John Stamos, oh, great I mean, people too. They incredible. were like a family. Jeff yeah. didn't have a family like of his own. Like, oh, well, he had mom and dad and all that, but right. he never. This was his family. Absolutely, this is Jeff's family. He'll he'll come on here when he comes back to L.A. I just yeah. saw him in Miami. The creator of Full House, Jeff Franklin, is our mutual friend. I've seen you at his incredible parties. Incredible guy. Best parties in history. Oh, uh, I mean, up there with the Hef. You know what I'm saying? Way past. Hef. Way Hef. I mean, have you ever re- been to Hef's parties? I have some great stories about that. I always, Do you really? yeah, because you know, I, you know, as a little kid, I was always, uh, well, still am, jerking off to the Playboy, <laughs> and uh, I, uh, <laughs> I got a lot of problems, uh, Craig. Um, but I uh, always said to myself, I wanted to go to a Playboy Mansion. Sure. Party. So all of a sudden, my buddy says, "I can get you in." He, uh, he <laughs> You're was dying. Eight. Oh, I go. My buddy is a butler at the Playboy this is, Mansion. This is Yankee Stadium, and, you're, and you've been playing baseball your whole life. Absolutely. No, I've been throwing it outside the uh, stadium. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, looking, right. Oh, I just want to look over the wall. Sure. So he talks to Kimberly Hefner. Then he quits and gets a better job, moves to Vegas. I fly him in. I go, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing my buddies in. I'm bringing the crew in. I'm bringing the dream team in. There is no way at this pajama party I'm going to be denied at the rock. You know, that big rock in front of uh, the <laughs> Playboy right. Mansion. Yeah, yeah. 
So he clears it with him. Yeah, I put him on the list, no problem. My buddy's flying. I buy my brand new pajamas. My buddy owned a limo company. <laughs> I bought, got the number one limo. You bought pajamas. I swear to God. I was I was looking great. <laughs> feeling I don't look good in anything, but I look good in pajamas. <laughs> and we go to the rock and I yeah. say my name, Brad Grimberg, and the guy goes, looks at me, you're not on the list. Go, what are you talking <laughs> oh. about? Wait, 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 wait. Come Whoa. again? Whoa. I call my buddy in Vegas. He talks to the guy. They know each other. He goes, oh, man. I when can't. was this? This was, God, probably about 10 years ago. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So but I didn't stop there. Yeah. But then we went to, of course, in and out Burger, and then we went home. <laughs> okay, we got to not. Then my whoa, brother. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You were fully denied, never fully got denied. in. Fully denied. We turned around, could not get in. They every, would not. You tried every method. The guy said Went back in disguise. I would have done that. There's no he, shot. I would have jumped walls. I would have done any. I said to these guys, let's, let's. He goes, no. No, we're not. We're going in the gate, and that's it. They're, that, they're those type of friends? Uh, these See, guys I, I, were Stu Shalowitz, the greatest guy I know. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't I Wouldn't do it, it, though. Wouldn't go uh, there with they you. They wouldn't go. Wouldn't lie. They wouldn't, wouldn't lie. Wouldn't be, I'm an no. agent. No, they, oh, I'd they, be playing characters. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd have business cards you, made You bring the, the love spot. master. Oh, bring, any, <laughs> anything I can do. There's no way I'm ever getting turned down. It just happened the other day in Miami. I wanted to get this guy in. I was yeah. working at work, yeah. and I would go to this one, that one. Oh, sure. I told them. I told Ross to say I'm on the cover of Billionaire Magazine, and they believed it. There is no Billionaire Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that's cool. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> oh, no. You do not stop me at oh, any door. Oh, I love it. And usually you get I've in. I've never walked away, even oh when God. I'm not you, on you a keep, list. There's, you keep I'm, punching. You keep going. I'm, I'm a puncher. I'm, there's no it. shot. I'm a little disappointed with you, but go ahead. But then so, you didn't, didn't get stop in. There. No, okay. didn't stop there. So then my brother Greg Grunberg is an actor, and mm-hmm. he was on a show called Felicity. And I because... just saw him the other day, by the oh, way. Oh, you saw Greg? Oh, did he, he was at a, he was at the TSC Alliance. Um... Did he have security around him? My the sc- okay. He went on. He went on stage. Oh, did he? He talked oh. about his new show, oh. and he was talking about he has a. A child that has uh, epilepsy. Epilepsy, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so it's, uh, it's so uh, funny. Jakey's the best. Do you my know brother... that I never knew he was your brother until just now? I thought, oh, really? How many people have that name? <laughs> oh I thought God. you were coming out. Oh, my God. My brother is the greatest. I'm so proud of him. And he, um, he was on Felicity, so they invited him to, but he's married, has kids, mm-hmm. and he said, I can't, I'm not going. Yeah. I go, wait, we look pretty much alike. Give me <laughs> your ID. You oh, did yeah. not. Oh, yeah. It doesn't stop. It gets worse. Now, this I like. This is I get shoemaker. a Craig Shoemaker. This I is a Craig up, Shoemaker, yes. I go up UCLA, you park underneath at the yeah. UCLA complex, right. and they shuttle you up. So I'm there, and I check myself in. They go, so, hi, how you doing, Greg? How you doing? I go, great. And then all of a sudden, this woman no. walks in back of her oh. and just looks over and looks up at me and looks down oh. and goes, "That's you're not Greg Grunberg. I go, oh. come again? Oh, oh. <laughs> I go, I, what are you talking about? I'm Greg. There's my ID. No. Take care, Greg. Denied number two. You did. I went home not. with my tail between my legs. That's a. Uh, that's bad. I tried. The, uh, <laughs> the walk of shame after that. Back to the uh, van. Oh where now God. you're in the van by yourself with the shuttle driver going back, to, <laughs> going back to you exactly. to UCLA. <laughs> Horrible. You got nailed for not the being your bro- brother. You have got I, to be kidding. It was. It was so embarrassing. What an ass she is. Just let it slide. Let it go. Let me like, go you in. You have the invitation. That's all that counts. That's. I had the. I had everything. Everything covered, and then the worst part, when I left my uh, my uh, apartment, my buddies stayed back. Go, bro, have a great time, man. You look great. I put on the the Tropicana. We'll get into that female mud wrestling tuxedo, and I was looking good, but better than I was in the pajamas. By the way, right, right. Denied number two. Whoa, that was it? And then you know what I decided? What? Hang it up. I. I didn't want to go back for well, number Hef, three. Hef hung it up. Oh uh, yeah, well, Hef, like literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. I don't think Hef. If I, if I walked in, hey Hef, how you doing? Uh, no, security. He's a mind. bit of a disappointment when I went. Anyway. Oh, what was he tell me? Yeah. Tell me uh, what was your experience? Well, there? first of all, yeah, when did you go and how did you get in? Well, I got in because you know, you're whatever, you're, whatever. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. That. that was another time in my life. If I wasn't invited, I'd still get in. That's the type of person. It I doesn't am. even. You matter. do not turn me down. <laughs> I am not making that walk. Oh There's no, way. never. I will. Oh, I, something will happen. Have you always been that way since you were a kid? Yes, oh, I love it. I've always snuck into things. I grew up poor and had to do adapt. To oh, that. good for you. Oh, I. There's nothing that stops me. I, everybody says that about me. I'm resilient, uh, but I'm also optimistic. My now they call me Opto. That's my new. That's nickname. your new name. Yeah, my new, your nickname new handle is, is it Opto? Uh, my my Gmail? son now calls me that Opto. Oh, oh yeah. So by the way, I have to say something. The reason yeah, I'm yeah, here. Yeah. You're one of the greats. You're such a sweet guy. Every Aww. time we see each other, we just pick up where we left yeah, off. Yeah. We met a long time ago. Do you remember we'll get, where we met? I know, I, 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 know exactly I have to where... do something here. Yeah. 
How about I whisper it in the producer's ear? Because I want to see if it's the same. Oh, thing. okay, sure. Sure, go, go, yeah. Gordon or, or Ethan, could you come Ethan, in here? Ethan, Gordon. I love your, these people, your staff. Awesome. You missed it. The hotties uh, left. Where, why don't I Ross get to see the all, Ross was all, He just yeah, texted me. Why, Ross I'm the was single here. guy. <laughs> I'm the single horny Jew. Right, why here, can't here, I meet Here we go. Okay. Ready? Like, yeah, okay. Oh, the microphone. Okay. Okay. Here we okay go. Yeah. I won't listen. Uh, God, this is the greatest okay, setup here. here God, you guys are so Here we go. All right. All right. So, we did it. We did it. Okay, are you ready? Go. Now, I'm going to, I just said to him where I believe that I, we met. And I believe where I And believe I believe it. you were Johnny Cocktails and okay. not and not. Okay, Brad. you're correct. That was Johnny Cocktails. And? There was a show. Yeah. That we were trying out for called Fox Across America. Yeah, that's what I just said. And <laughs> Craig Shoemaker came in and was reading or doing his shtick. Like I was, I was the sidekick. We killed you were the it. We, we absolutely it. destroyed. It was one of those things where I walked away and went, that's, I that's, you, that's I, ours. I, I said you and I, I connected. Oh my god! Like we knew each other forever, forever, right? Exact, absolutely. Just like we just finished forever. Ever. <laughs> See how we, we, we yeah, ever. We, and that was, was not rehearsed. Of, it was one of those disappointing things where I went, "Whoa, what else do you have to do?" Like, who got it? By the way, um, I can't even remember. I remember. Well, I was working in the commissary at Fox. I, yeah. I got it because I was goofing on the right people. Yeah. And Scott Harriet, great guy, great comedian. Yeah. You know, Scott. Oh my God. Scott was the guy. We had a great time. He was great. But oh, you were the co-host. I was. I got to be the co-host. And Kimber Sissons, another fine actress. She was. Oh my God, beautiful. So wait a minute. She, oh, so you full, full We did on the left pilot. Me. We did you the pilot. You left me for another guy. No, but here's the thing. We had Scott such chemistry. It. Why didn't? I, I mean, I'm saying, wait, a minute. this guy's. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. We we and yeah. Scott and I'm was normally, great. I'm Scott normally was great. not that cocky. No, no. On no, that no. one, I went. Oh, yes, me are. and this guy are bros. So. Exactly. No, no. You we know what I mean? had like, chemistry. Wow. We still so do. You believe like, that? You I be- could be you, your sidekick here. So you remember that as well? It's very absolutely. Clear, which is really odd because it's 30 years ago. I read or with 20, every, I think Spade came. They yeah. all came in. All the big everybody came in. And I came close to getting it, but you got it. No, you should have gotten it. What happened? And Scott Harry, was great. I way. just I don't know that that's who they picked. Um, Lisa Berger, Joe Devola were the producers. Right. Uh, Pete Siegel directed it. One of the greats wow. of today. I mean, come on. How long did it last? Uh, the pilot. Then we never got picked up. No. Yeah. No, I didn't go past the pilot. Oh, yes. so I'm not that disappointed. No. We've all done F pilots. Em. Ah, fuck off. I've done more f- <laughs> pilots than a flight attendant. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. We should wait a minute. We should do. Why one. don't we bring it back? Why don't we do? I'll talk to Pete. Let's bring it back. Let's call it West Lake across America or something. Absolutely, else. or West Lake around the lake or something <laughs> like that. Right. You and I go and we, we interview people all over the world. Yeah. What? All what over the think? world. No, no, yes. not just in America. Across I want to go globe. All, everywhere. You know, you're right. Especially post pandemic, we should just do this. Every world well, leader. Let's get funded. Let's do. We'll this. do this through crypto. We'll get funded through okay, crypto like and bring it. this throughout the world. We can Ross the boss. He can Ross, produce it. And also Jeff Franklin, our friend Jeff, Jeff Franklin. Oh my God, we bring and it to he Jeff. He can bring it's... in guest stars. Who were the favorites that you saw at his parties, folks? Oh my this guy oh, who but... created Full House, he became a very <laughs> wealthy guy. It's amazing to me that you can On write one scripts show and, and you... well, that's where he got most of his money. It, he's mansions. He owns mansions. He has parties. Incredible. Where I'm sitting next to Mick Jagger. Were you there that night, the Mick Jagger night? I only made a couple of the parties, but for me, Priscilla Presley, uh, That's... Craig Shoemaker, <laughs> uh, Don Knotts. You're, you're, okay, you're... Don was dead. Um, but I, I loved next, that. Sat next to Brad that one time. <laughs> good so we see on. how my good uh, wingman is. Yeah, bring that. See that. So. Oh my God! But come on, there's better ones. Oh, on the um, list. I was two inches from Jackson Brown oh, playing. Yeah, you all were of the, my favorites some, running on empty. Oh, and I mean, I, of course, the, the Beach out, Boys. Beach Boys are always there. Bobby all, Brown, mean, and uh, you know, of course, Macy you know, Gray. I got to hang out, and and I mean, I knew him very well, Bob Saget. I got to hang out with him and party with him, right. in a happy, fun way. Just they're let singing it loose. the theme song, the Full House oh, on stage. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. Cool. Back, back, backed up by these Stamos. like amazing musicians. The best. I mean, I'm like, how? Literally the best in the business. And you're watching Tom yeah. Jones, by the way. Tom that's, Jones. That's where I, we're, I'm too young for Tom Jones, right? Yeah, Not so my ear. My mom's ear, right? Yeah, I'm 35. So, <laughs> so <laughs> our grandparents are watching. Yeah, right, right. So I never got into Tom Jones. I didn't realize until I got there. The greatest voice, like, maybe ever. Still to this day. To this day. Yeah, yeah. And he sings in the guy's living room. He's telling Elvis stories while Elvis's widow is sitting right there. Like me and Elvis were, you know, hanging out with Richard Nixon or whatever. Oh, yeah, it is. Right, whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, telling it was a cocktail glass and a cigarette. And then here's the best thing: is he he told me I sang. Yeah. And he told me 
and I have I have it on. I you, have oh, you song. sang with him? I have it on film. Oh, he goes, my. you got pipes like Pavarotti. That's oh, what he said. <laughs> Tom Jones said that to Said me. that to you. You got pipes like Pavarotti. Oh, my. I and I said, say that to my mother. So I said <laughs> it to my mother, because who else cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He said that to you, right? Your mom. It, uh, yeah. So I said, say it to my mom. Yeah. So he recorded it for me. But uh, those are the most amazing parties. So I've incredible. seen you there. Yeah. But I was wondering who your favorites were on stage. I, you know what? I'm, it's going to be- the Rembrandts? Go. Uh, <laughs> I- <laughs> When he was there, it was great. They do the hits, by the way. That's what surprised me. They don't go and just jam. Like no. I, ACDC played my wedding, and and, and like really, they, wow. they never not an ACD song. They're doing like Mustang Sally because right. they're getting up there and jamming with the band and stuff like that. Sure. Usually, musicians like to do that. Right. I was surprised. Sometimes they do their hits. Like Kenny Loggins was my parking lot over here. He's yeah. doing Footloose in the parking lot. Oh God! <laughs> you it's kind of like when I, all the great bar mitzvahs I went to. The town criers were there doing all, <laughs> yeah, right. all you know, all, all these songs from all these great bands. Right. But my favorite at the party because yeah. I had his lunchbox, Bobby Sherman. <gasps> Me what, too. Right. Well, it's just freaky. It's it was more on a was, freaky level. He looked like, great. He looked great, but but still, it's not my memory of yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I couldn't remember. But then I go, oh my god, that was a huge hit. He right. was a big time, big time huge. teen star. Big. Oh, now I'm Tiger B. Tell that. Blanking stuff. on the song though. Uh, I don't know the song. I just oh. knew the lunchbox. I had his lunchbox. That's all. You I know the about. song. I don't know. Oh, what was my, the song? Oh, oh. Maybe you get one of your staff to go look it up. Yes, Google, Google. they will do that. They're gonna they're gonna help us out. They'll write yeah, it up on a great little screen. Where are the chicks, man? Come the on. The chicks all left. They said. I need. I need a girl. Come Brad's on. coming in. <laughs> oh, the, the fat Jew, sweaty you, guys. Coming you know what's funny is I actually fix people up. Do you really? I have. Oh, this is there's a book about it right here. I fixed up nine marriages. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, I am no way kidding. I'm fixing wow. people all the time. You're the Chuck Willery of today? We'll be back in two and two. I've been <laughs> on that show. And dating game with uh, Elaine Joyce, if you want to talk about it. Elaine Joyce. She was my host. Married uh, to Bobby Van. Bobby Van. Uh, make me laugh. Oh, we oh can, what? We, Bobby Van. That would have been a show you would have killed on. Make me laugh. Make me You're laugh. too young. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, before, yeah. just a, a scooch before. I used to watch it, though. Yeah, I did, I too. Going, I did too. Maybe someday I'll be on there. Yeah. What were your aspirations when you were younger? Like, like to you, what would tell you that you made it because you were on blank? And I actually had it happen to me, by the oh, way. On, um, on, if I get on this, I made it. And they're always stupid things, by the way. Really? Mine are like, always dumb. Well, in college, I remember that I was in... Okay, so I went to University of Arizona, and I never wanted to be an actor, but... There was a movie coming to campus that my friend Mark Schiller, who was going to Northwestern, who read in the Variety, goes, this movie's coming to campus. You should try to get in it. You're a funny guy. I go, yeah, but I never acted before. He goes, let's write the producer a letter. And by the way, Peter McGregor Scott is a tremendous influence on my life. And he passed away tragically in a uh, taxi accident in New York City in tw- 2017. I always talk about him because he means so much to me. A taxi I re- accident? Yeah, he was in a taxi and it got an accident. And really? Died. Yeah, when I was horrible. a kid, this a, a sub story. Yeah, I thought the taxis, if you got in when they were invincible, I literally Re- thought really? that when I was a kid. Yeah, literally. where'd you grow up? In Philadelphia, mm. but I thought if I'm in this taxi, Rip. that they have some sort of like a right of the road that you can't hit them. Really, uh, that was that, my person. You know, when you're a little yeah, kid, when you're a little kid, you think yeah, it's you like, have all yeah. these weird things. Like I used to yeah. think if we had a bigger TV, I'd be able to see the girl's boobs in the shampoo <laughs> commercial. She would shampoo, and I got cut off. <laughs> oh and I would go God. in. I would go over. We had a cheap TV. I would look in. I go. I think I saw a nipple. I mean, these are, <laughs> yeah, these are yeah. you know you have the misperceptions when you're right, a kid. Right. I'm sure you had a few. I do. I still do. <laughs> uh, like being on this show. But anyway, no, uh, I love it. I remember the greatest time. Um, so Peter Murger Scott, I wrote him a letter. He called me at home. Yeah. And he said, "I latch your letter." I, do a, I don't do a very good Australian accent. And he said, when you come back to school, I want to see you in the spring. You'll read for a part in my movie. I go, sure, sir. I go, he goes, you don't want to be in my, you don't want to work on my movie. You want to be in my movie. I go, whatever you say. So I go back with my buddy in my fraternity, ZBT, and we read tra- Taylor Samuels. We read for a part. Never knew what sides were. Didn't do it. Horrible. Didn't it. And this is a real great story for people that dream. Dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was dreaming about being in this movie, Reveal at the End. You taught me best as your sidekick. Mm-hmm. It's me. Mm-hmm. And um, come out of class one day. They were about three quarters away filming all over campus. It was the talk of the town. Everybody wanted to be a part of this. And I come out of class, and I'm daydreaming all day. I got horrible grades. I barely made it. I almost got thrown out of school. And I see Peter McGregor Scott by my dorm, and an angel and a devil come on my shoulder, an angel. Brad, there's Peter McGregor, Scott. Why don't you go over and say hello and see if you can help him mm-hmm. with anything? And then the devil, let's get the fuck out of here. You're not getting shit, boy. Ah, I'm starving, and I want to take a fucking nap. 
Angel, don't listen to him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go over to him. He goes, where have you been? We, we've been looking for you. We, we want Stop. you to come up with some, I swear to God, Hilarious. come up with some bad jokes. And we and meet Jeff, uh, Jeff Canoe, our uh, director. Okay, my, we came up with these bad jokes. Taylor said, what's the dirtiest thing ever? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He did. Uh, what did the Pink Panther say when he stepped on an ant? Dead ant. Dead ant. <laughs> and mine was, what's the dirtiest thing ever said on television? Ward, I think you're a little hard on the beaver last night. <laughs> right, okay. That was mine. I remember Re that joke. Revenge of the Nerds. I got in that movie. Wow. And I, it, it got me my SAG card, my union card, changed my life forever. And you just a, had the one line? Just had the one line, and he had the one line. We didn't get cut. Did not get, that's another thing. I didn't get yeah, cut. everybody gets cut. Made, everybody gets cut. I, I stayed a, in the yeah. film and got graduated, got a job offer from Xerox to sell copy machines. And so Thursday... Monday, I was supposed to start. My grandma was my best friend. So my grandma, my mom, and my dad, I want to be an actor. Didn't go over too well. No, no. You're giving up a corporate job? You graduate college? Yeah. And I just want to tell everybody out there, find something you love. Yeah. Do not do it for the money. Or do your parents. You, or your parents. Do it for you. Yeah, it's your life. Yeah, a big one. Yeah. And I've been in the business 36, 36 years. Yeah. Still doing what I love. I'm on yeah. there. Craig Shoemaker podcast. <laughs> I am doing well. I'm happy. Top of the resume. This one's bottom going. it. Bottom. <laughs> we have a show coming up. We're going around the world, right? <laughs> we should. I'm telling you, Shoemaker you, across America. Are you going to go oh, back? Are you going to get a recurring role in uh, Curb? I hear it's, uh, it's coming back. That's the twelfth season. By the way, that's the one. You asked me the question. What? When I made it on <gasps> Curb, I think. Wow, I made, that was the answer. Well, Isn't that I've been on. I've been so lucky. I mean, working at the that 20th became a dream. Oh. I mean, when, Seinfeld, Larry David, Jerry Seinfeld. I mean, I watch it with my grandma on Thursday night at 9 o'clock on yeah. NBC. And all of a sudden, I get to audition for it. It's my second time I auditioned for it. And the, the way I got the role, I, it's all improv, as you know. It's the, there's no script. Well, it's anyone listening here does not know. Oh, okay. And I don't fully know how it works because okay. I've never been on Oh, okay. You should I'm be. friends with Garland. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, I've been uh, okay. texting back and forth. We're supposed to get together. Or no. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Wish him well for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wish him well. Yeah. Well. So uh, it's all, okay, we self-tape. And um, the, you scene, do. the scene was, you know, a, a oh, it's roofer. during the pandemic. So that's why yeah, self-tape. So, yeah, self-tape Normally, started, the yeah. one time I did audition, I went into the studio. Right. And the first time I did, I went in to read Casting with director. them. With you Gar did? Yeah, Garland, no. the director. And then the cast director, and then me and Larry in a room. The first time, first you ever time read. I read, and it was for. Did the, they know you? Uh, Jeff knew me. He did. I never met Larry before, and what happened was it was the car dealer one where he was selling cars, mm -hmm. and I walked in as somebody looking for a car, mm -hmm. but I didn't get it, and I'm glad I didn't get it. So this came up years later, and my. Would you, age, are you glad because this was a, like a really like kind of an iconic role, and it was probably more juicy and meaty? Absolutely. Right. Oh this my god, this very was meaty for me. Role, very yeah. memorable. And I go to this place called Self Tape, with this wonderful guy. Yeah, um, and he and I didn't know. St about yeah, this. Steve, oh, the greatest place. You want to go to Self Tape? This is the guy. I mean, wow, really great. I he do is, them myself. Yeah. And no, I, oh, and that's I, great. No, I, no, yeah. I haven't. Scored, it's not yeah. great. I haven't scored one. Oh, okay. So you should go to Steven. He will take care of you. Really? He, oh, wow. he will take such good. And he and reads with you. Oh my God, he's an actor. Right. So he knows how to direct. And how much does it cost? Uh, it's like uh, use my name. You pay double. No, <laughs> uh, fifty bucks. 40. 50. No, it's great. No, I'm telling you, best fifty bucks ever spent. That is great, fifty bucks. Oh my god! Well, and look what you got. You got to curb your. This is your dream. That's team what I'm saying. For because of bucks. him, my wow. agent, Mike Eisenstadt, sent me in. Unbelievable! I get this role, and the way I got it was I asked Larry after I got it because it was about a, a roofer coming to yeah. fix his roof, right? So at the end, I go, "Oh, Larry, I had a big breakfast buffet. Can I use your bathroom?" And I walk right by the camera. You improvised That's, it. And so all, oh, by the way, just to tell your audience, yeah. everything's improvised. There is a scene. They tell you this is the scene. So tell me, tell, so, take us there. Oh, take us there. So you walk basically, into this. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. no, you're on a self-tape. I'm on a self-tape. You're at, still yeah, improvising self, yeah. on a self-tape. Right. Uh -huh. And they say what? They say this is the scene. You, you read the, the, the paper that, excuse me, the paper that is sent to me uh, on an email from my agent. Can we get Hold the, on. Can we get the crew in here? Uh, we need a crew. Oh, wait, we need wait. a crew. There we go. No. All right. I should know how this works. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hello? I've been in business a long time. Um, so you 
So you, they, they no, say, I'm what do they tell you as they part is the scene? Basically, they said, Larry has a leak in his roof. You're the roofer. You're coming to the door to talk to him about the leak. End of story. Mm-hmm. And you go. That's it. That's it. And They and, don't say and, anything about a bathroom. Uh, nothing about a bathroom. They say go. And and Steve, my buddy, he he got me going. He played Larry. We went back. We did it three or four times. And I said, that's the one. Send it in. And by the way, they don't call you. They usually wait to tell you you got mm-hmm. it or they pin you. Pinning means yeah. it's between you and five people. And then they pick you for, and they say the dates. Are you available? Blah, blah, blah. They call me right away. They go, we want you. Wow. I go, wow. I, I couldn't believe. I was but like, wow. part of it had to do with your weight, also. Yes, because when I was did, doing it, did the fr- casting call for a heavy? Uh, yeah, they, no, yes, because because of he has the, to yeah, fall through the right roof. to fall through the roof, right. and and the the joke is Larry sees me and he's like, uh, you're not going up there, right? <laughs> right. And when I was, I, I did the first. So you already have I, the visual down, yeah. And they wouldn't even have someone of less weight be even even a skinny in the guy that wouldn't wouldn't no, work. would not yeah, work. No, yeah. No, no, no. yeah. So they wanted a heavy hitter guy, right? Uh, you know heavy set guy like myself and I um the, the great thing about it is the first thing I did was when I fall through the roof and I'm sitting there in bed with Larry David not many people can say that <laughs> and I said Larry thanks for having me I, this is amazing uh, he goes oh no you earned it I go excuse me he goes you owned your weight I go like Gleason and John Candy he goes yep he goes, we're lucky to have you. Thanks, man. Wow, that's awesome. And John Candy is my favorite, my, my favorite actor of all time. John Candy. What's my your favorite, favorite John Candy movie? Uh, I have he, that's uh, his Stripes movie. or Planes, Trains, there and Automobiles. There you go. There you go. That's, that's my it. favorite comedy of all time. All time. Yeah. Steve Martin and him, unbelievable, unbelievable. incredible. And plus the pathos. Oh, I mean, God. even the end, we have like a oh, tear. Oh my I mean, God, you, I was crying. But the, same yeah, here. Yeah, but yeah. those aren't pillows. I've used that. Oh, we've all. I've been right? in bed <laughs> with my buddy and woke up literally uh, spooning with the guy. Does your wife know about that? <laughs> this <Okay>. Years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh I, my God! I, oh, they, and you I used was, that line. I was when feeling him up and kissing his neck. I was dreaming he was a woman, and I and I woke up. Whoa, whoa! I did. The, how about the Eagles game? But you know, same right, thing. Eagles. Yeah, yeah because the Eagles, Cubs, same thing. So I bears. Oh my God! That. I'm telling you, that was – he so inspired me. He inspired me. And then yeah. my favorite comedian of all times, when I was seven years old, I saw him on The Tonight Show, Don Rickles, is my favorite. And I got to work with him mm-hmm. and get to know him. And he always told me, Craig, and you know this, and you're so great on stage. When you make fun of people, you love them. When yeah. you say nothing, you don't give a shit about them. Yeah, and it's true. When you goof on people, goof on your friends. Yeah. And that's what I did in the 20th century. In Fox Philly, Canada. that's love. Right, right? Love. That's what people don't understand. Yes, they don't. But this cancel culture that we're living in, they don't understand. This is the greatest compliment you could give them when you're acknowledging that they're there. Absolutely. That they exist. And you're making Rickles fun of Rickles always did it with a smile and a little glint in his eye. He never was attacking anyone. Never. And, and people, not that person on stage. So sweet, so humble, no. so nice, so loving. It's ni- nicest guy. One, right? of, one yeah. of my great memories of Rickles was... Uh, you'll you'll love this because of who's involved in this story. You, you remember Bert Convy? Uh, oh, are you Tattletales, right. baby? Tattletales, oh right. my god, the best! It's right, it's right oh. up oh my god! It's right up there with the other show that you named earlier, but a <laughs> yeah. uh, Bobby Van. Oh, oh uh, yeah. make me laugh! Yeah, yeah, and the other <laughs> I, he hosted another one too, oh. and Elaine Joyce and oh, oh, Elaine Joyce, game, yeah. mm-hmm. all those. So, oh. so the I was a big game show guy growing oh, okay. up. I love game shows. Which As a matter of fact, show? I watched I watched a TED talk the other day from Bob Bowden. You know Bob. Yeah, Bob is yeah. Mr. Game Show. Oh, is he? Okay. And I watched a TED Talk where he talked all about game shows. Wow. And he did like trivia, and I knew every answer. Yeah. It, what What uh, is your favorite game show of all time? Hollywood Squares. Oh, my God. Paul Lynn. So? Charlie Charlie Weaver. You know who Charlie Weaver is? Crew. Cliff Arquette. Ex- the, the Arquette family. The Arquette right? family. Exactly. Yeah, David Arquette, Roseanne Arquette. Oh. They never... They never talk about that. And they, the three yeah. kids became pretty famous. I just watched the documentary on him, by the way. On Charlie Weaver? No, on David Arquette. Oh, David Arquette, okay. Charlie Weaver never mentioned. And he was like a, that, Isn't that strange? It is really strange because he was a legend for us growing up. Oh, my up. goodness. And you and I could name every square. Georgie Goble. <laughs> Don't get me started. Chad Murray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great show. I mean, Waylon and Madam. Peter Ro- Marshall. Rose Marie. Oh, right? God. So my goal... What, I had a double goal on this one. Okay. I, I wanted Paul Lynn to be my father because Parade <laughs> Magazine said he was single. <laughs> and my mom had a crush on him. I so I wrote him it. letters. 
You you got to no. meet my mom. Oh, I swear to God. Then the police showed up. I put a photo FBI. in there, my mom and her belly oh. dancing outfit, whatever. I, I said, you got to meet my mom. Right? <laughs> and I my mom loved it. My mom had the weirdest crushes. I still make fun of her for this. So this is her list. Okay, give me the list. Rock Hudson, Richard Chamberlain, oh my God. Tab Hunter, Paul Lynn. Wait a minute. Is, All of them. Is there a theme here? All of them gay. Yeah. Right? Right. She has no idea. She thinks they're, quote, flamboyant. She didn't know Liberace was gay. What? She didn't have a crush on him. Are you kidding But she me? loved Liberace. Uh, my hello, mom, mom had no idea that these people were gay. Yeah. So I wrote to Paul and I go, you should meet my mom. I understand you're a confirmed bachelor. You'll unconfirm if you meet my mom. I've always supported my mom. That's so sweet. So oh I God. thought he would adopt me, and we would be the first father and son team on the Hollywood Squares. Oh my God. I was imagining, I'd like what? Craig and Paul win for the win, please. And I, I, he'd say, take it, son. It's a sports question. Oh, God. That's what I imagined. Oh, my God. It's perfect. And I think about baseball, Samantha. Anyway, I wanted him to be my dad in the worst way. Oh my but God! But here's this the is thing, classic. Brad. I ended up on Hollywood Squares. He's dead no. a long time, and Whoopi would let me visit the Center Square. So I would sit on her lap like I was sitting on my dad's lap, Paul Lynn. And then we would this she would is, play Paul Lynn. Oh, when were you on? The, when were you on? The, I was on like 75 episodes oh with Tom God. Bergeron. Was yeah, the yeah, host. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God! But here's the problem: I'm not a big celebrity. I was always Craig Shoemaker to block. No one ever oh. opened up with. <laughs> I like my favorite. I like my favorite Craig <laughs> Shoemaker. It's always Craig Shoemaker to block. At one time, I'm looking in the monitor. I'm literally the only option. Just, oh God, no. I'll take I'll take Antonio Banderas to lose. I mean, anything but pick, try to say shoemaker and it's in a mock or whatever. Anyway, so I ended up, and that was my dream. Oh I went, my, Whoa, that's a great dream. I oh. cannot believe you're sitting in this square. I used to la ask Paul. You know, I thought he was going to be my dad. I'd say, how do you get in the squares? Does Toadie Fields really have a wooden leg? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I would write these questions when I was seven years old. Like, oh my I wanted God. to be There was on something so special about so, TV back then, right, with these game shows and all this stuff. I, re I think I recall it was always during the day, too. Yeah, I was, they we were, were always we were, during the day, right? And, and people, I was talking about this on stage. They don't know what reruns are anymore. We no. watch. We, we didn't watch first run on these shows. We weren't watching them at night. Gillian's Island. We didn't watch it at night. Don, uh, uh, Andy Griffith show. It wasn't at night. It was when we came home from school. Right. It's what you did. That's all you could. That's what was on TV. On did you have UHF when you were growing up? Ah, uh, yes. Remember the little knob underneath? There was two knobs: VHF, yes. UHF. Yes. So it had all these off channels: 29, right. 17, 48. Do you remember the Z channel? It was like the first cable <laughs> box. <laughs> yeah, remember the Z oh, channel? Oh yeah, the Z. Oh my goodness. Cable box. And then you had that other box with the wheel. Remember oh, the wheel? Yeah. It had a long cord and a wheel. What was this that? This big box. Oh. This is in the 80s. Right, and you went right. tunk, 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 and you went to the channel. <laughs> but, if, if, but if you didn't subscribe to the porno channel or the Playboy channel, it was scrambled. Right. So you would take the wheel and go <laughs> on the wheel, and it, it would look like a Picasso painting. These nude bodies were oh, all together. And then yeah. it, would, it, would, it would, oh, for, my God. It, it, like for a second, you'd for see For a second, it. then it would go, uh, it would scramble that, again, that right? Was, that was our porn. Oh, my God. You get the wheel. Oh, you work, I remember that. You work. You got to look it up when you go home. And, work the wheel. That's oh, what I would do, work the wheel. That would be a great movie about work, oh, oh, work oh, the wheel. Work the wheel, yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's our show, work the wheel. We'll go around the world. We're working around the wheel. Around the world, working the wheel. I bet you some some – Territories probably still have the wheel. I think third world with the wheel. World, oh yeah, the wheel's still. There. No, where did those wheels go? Over to those countries. Well, right? they yeah, right. I'm they sure, they have somewhere. a lot of our old stuff. Oh, that's everything we use. They use now. Yeah, yeah. I liked growing up in that era because I, I don't want to sound like the old fart. Those yeah. were the days, right. like Pleasantville. Oh, I, but I tell you. There is something very charming no, about reruns. Innocence. It, yeah. A lot of a, yeah. And if you watch the shows now, though, like I watch, uh, uh, Aaron Murphy was here. She's Tabitha, right? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I love her. Yes. From Bewitched. Bewitched, yeah. You watch the show. I watch it with my kids who love it. Oh, my little that's kids. so great. They love it. And I love that they love it. It was. It's really fascinating what we, what passed by us. It, would, it just became a blur. Do you know the drinking and smoking they did on these shows? Incredible. What are they doing? Exactly. I see them smoking oh, and smoking. And, ev oh. Everyone. Or on Carson. He would be smoking. Oh. Uh, it was crazy, remember right? The, remember the George Gobel episode? No. When Dean Martin puts his cigarette 
in George Goebel's uh, glass oh, yeah, when he's yeah, turned yeah, yeah. around oh, talking to Josh, great. and he kept putting yeah, the ashes in, the there. Ashes in there. I mean, this can't happen now, obviously. Never. Oh, okay. are you what, are you going to put the me? vape, dip a vape in somebody's <laughs> trick or something? <laughs> the vape pen. Oh, yeah. My. So <laughs> I just think that there was a, that was the time where things were being adjusted and we were new technology. Everything was new technology. Right. And yeah. now it's just, it's such a blowout of technology. It's so far gone yeah. that there's such a distance between us now. I, do, I agree. And, and technology the technology is... brought us apart, not brought us together. No, I agree. That's the irony of it all, because you had to have relationships that were connected like you and I are right now. Right. We, you don't have this if I'm texting you. Right. There's no nuance. There's no Nothing. tone. There's no laughter. Nothing. And this is what's missing. Absolutely. You, you, you don't pick up the phone and call somebody. No. You text them. Oh. oh, I can't. Oh, I can't see you. No, no, I can't. They hide behind their computer, hide behind yeah. their phone. Yeah. We've lost uh, the human touch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, it's, no, it's terrible. Remember when someone called you actually had an instinct who it was? That was kind of cool, too. <laughs> We're like psychics <laughs> yeah, on the phone. I, oh, I know who it is. Yeah, Look, yeah. You know their ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. There, yeah, all there was no such is... thing. It was all the same ringtone, <laughs> but you right. just knew that this is the hour they would call. call. You would ignore them. You have your sister answer, whatever the hell it was. You tell them I'm not home. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, was, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was how you responded. You know, I'm not home. You'd be in the background. Right. Or, or also, if you wanted to have privacy you went into the closet with the long cord and then and they, then they pull oh, on the cord when yeah. they wanted to use the phone right they want I'm, i gotta take this is your closet. brother younger or older than you uh my brother i'm the oldest my brother then my sister tiffany okay yeah. is she in show business no as well? she's just a mom she has this great thing called fit for tiff where she gets women in shape and helps them really in, in many areas of their life tiffany is it's kind of, of show most, business yeah a little bit she's and her husband brian he's he works for a big uh, company um uh brightling Brightling, you know, the, the, watch, the watch company. Of course. Great family. But my sister is an amazing person. She has a heart of gold, you know, and my brother. And a watch of one, too. And, 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 I love how you tied that in. <laughs> you are a genius, my ass. May I, I want to get in, I want to ask you a question, yes. if I could. Sure. This love master, you know, yes. this unbelievable thing you did. <laughs> Before you met your, I mean, by the way, your wife, you married up. I'm just, I know I'm just telling you I, I, know I, I saw you oh my god the problem with marrying yeah. up is she knows it <laughs> she knows it <laughs> she's and, onto yeah. it now she's onto it she's and, done she with it, me. and she runs the show she's so done with me oh yeah we all are <laughs> uh, but uh, how much tang what? did you get before tang? you met your wife this is I mean, so funny I just spent a week with Ross Mark okay Ross Mark and Bruce Smirnoff. Do you know Bruce? Yeah. Bruce? Oh, Bruce. I worked with him once. Let me tell you something. I was with Brad Grumberg. <laughs> Let me tell you. He thinks you got a lot of tail. Little does he know. We got nothing. Nothing. Man. Right on. Oh my Ross God. Ross is the same as you. He has, and so does Bruce. They have this illusion that I am this big coxman. Like that, I was what? like, mis- like, but the confidence I all these you have whip- what you I mean, oh, the way on you stage, think- I will admit, I that's have a what I'm lot saying. Of from the stage, and the love master has a lot of confidence, I mean. way more yeah. than I do. That's good. That's uh, something. Can the love hear- master get? I, I think he, you might have told what? me a story. A I did. Times. At the party, you told me a story about the love master. Yeah, about how I yeah, choked yeah, under pressure exactly. when I became me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, fi- you fired some blanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, we get in the elevator, touch 12. I'm 12, folded in half, baby. Yeah. Oh, I talked God. her into the hotel room. Jeez. She said, oh, I got to have that love master. Oh, my God. And then I came out of character. Oh, I was no. Done. I was oh. done in five seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> no way. And you know how you won a round two? She didn't have time. Oh. So she's left with me bragging about the love master. And she's, I'm sure she sees me on TV right now. She's going, oh. he's no love master, but he's a. I heard that He's when, a love when dud. that happened, Eric Gregg came out and, and punched you out. You know, wow, the, the, uh, wow, you there's a one? reference, an the, Eric my Gregg reference. My favorite umpire of all time. There Eric will Gregg. never be another Eric Gregg reference Maybe in the history of this piece. show. I, one of the greats. Yeah. Eric Gregg was You've got to fix your microphone. Can you come uh, in and fix his microphone? Yeah. He's treating it. He's, okay. Okay, there he is. Get, that, uh, get, why get, is get it so it stays I mean, up. I'm the, okay. Somebody come in here and help him out. This is, very this is going to sound really the good on the audio version really, of our think, podcast. Oh, here goes the producer. Here we go. What does this guy really do? A couple big, big dudes in this room, yeah. man. It's like, I like this guy. And a couple. It's like working into it. I'm like looking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy and I, we, we could get some real. I'd say, well, maybe a, we'll walk into I'll a, tell you what, a this hometown sound, buffet. If somebody's just listening now for the first time. Yeah. It sounds like porn is going yeah, what's <laughs> going Something's on? Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Hometown so, so, buffet so, so on me, hometown. There is a there is so is it, okay, there's, a, there's, a, there's a thought or a belief. Give Ross, him a check. He did thank something. Thank you very much. Thank no, you. We'll give him an applause. Round of applause. Yeah, thank you, Gordon. Yeah. 
So uh, I went out with Ross in like Beverly Hills. He said, oh, they, all these women want you. I go, there's nobody looking at me. I don't know where you get this from. And Smirnoff always says, that when you wore that long coat, the duster, all the women would call me and go, who's the guy in the long coat? I got to have the guy in the coat. So I don't know. I don't know if it's true yeah. or if it's something projecting you know, where right. where it really maybe it is true. Maybe right. they do uh, like me or right. are into me, but I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. Like I'm not thinking. Oh, you, I walk you, into you, a room you, and they're yeah. checking me out. Ever? How did how did you come up with the love master? Love master is the yeah. answer to that. I was treated. You know, it was the f, f word. The girls used the f word. Friend. I was oh, always the oh, fucking okay, friend. Okay, okay. You know, they pee together in high yeah. school. They yeah. took me with them. That's oh, what it, oh wow oh, yeah. oh no, no, always, no, oh, no oh like no. You're, even I wasn't that bad <laughs> I might have been shot down in my pajamas at the Terrible. Playboy Mansion but I wasn't oh, that bad oh my god oh, I thought total, I was a loser but oh uh, total uh, F I was really tiny oh. five one in high school but you're a handsome guy high, you high voice hey how you doing yeah, oh, yeah I'll fix you god. that's why I started fixing people up I go I'll fix oh, you up with him wow. he's always a badass really they always like women like bad guys yeah, they said they want a sense of humor. Now, we all know that's full of it, right? Absolutely. The cover People magazine is never Carrot Top of the Wayans Brothers, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's somebody sexy. Yeah, yeah. You know, like maybe Matthew McConaughey with some jokes. Maybe yeah. that's who they would want. But no, they want guys with cheekbones, not punchlines. True. I, and that's one of my lines, by the way, What's that? with women um, being the single guy that I am. A hot waitress, whoever I mean, I go, I look at right, right near their eyes. I go, I have a question for you. She goes, yeah, nice guys are bad boys. And if they answer nice guys right away, I know they like ni- like me. Yeah. But then if they go, what did you say? I go, you heard me. She goes, yeah. bad boy. I go, more bad boy than nice guys? She goes, yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. guys are boring. I like wow. exciting. That's out. what they think. But they all, I worked it's in a strip illusion. club for oh, right. 15 years. It all ends not well. Okay. It all <laughs> ends not well. I tell everyone. You know them. Per- you should write a book about that. I should. That. I, I know. I know these. That's I told interesting. Them, yes. I, I told these girls. Girls. Where do they don't want to go out. Yeah. Oh, it, it I'll tell you, they well. end up 40, Dead. 45, alone, yeah. and still going out with the bad boy wow. who, you know, hey, baby, I, you better make some money tonight because I got to get a new guitar. Yeah. Well, the band's getting back together. Right. I go, You're, you made $1,000 today. Why are you giving it to that guy? Yeah. And first of all, why is he in the corner? He's not allowed in here because the girls get intimidated when their boyfriends watch him dance for other guys. What's going on here? I told you, you work, you work. Not getting watched by your bad boy boyfriend over there. Right. I can we that's another show by the way. That's right. Another, I would love to yeah. hear about that. I would tell you stories all day. I will have I wrote Do you some ever stuff go down. to strip clubs anymore? I, I would imagine you You know, are, I take my friends, you know, I do. I take my friend not you not know in all the insi- you know yeah, the I know inside. the language. Yeah, I speak the I speak the <laughs> speak language. Speak the strip language. Yeah, there's whole uh, I I help some of my friends, you know, with this online stuff. A I'm lot too of these codependent. Girls. Uh, I'm so I'm too care about you know. Yeah, so a lot see, of these girls. I'll see a cesarean me. scar. I want to go get them surgery. <laughs> oh my God. You know, so I have a friend in Beverly Hills who can fix that. You know, right? right. <laughs> that's yeah, what I'm thinking. Right? Uh, or I'm thinking I could well, rescue them. They oh, could live in my guest that's house. That's the whole thing. You know, Quick, that's that's the way I yeah, think. I do not yeah. think. Uh, you know, I got to have her. No, well, yes, I do. I think that too. See, there, there's a fantasy there. Greg, yeah. How it works is like there was this one guy who used to come in all the time, every night, see this one girl. And she bossed him around, always. What are you doing? Don't you even look at that girl over there. You go to the ATM right now and get me $300. And he would go. So his birthday was coming up, and she said, hey, you know. And the name I went by was Johnny Cocktails, as we talked oh, yeah. earlier. Yeah. She goes, Johnny, I, <clears throat> I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him happy. His birthday is next mm-hmm. week, and I think I'm going to, you know, do some stuff that I shouldn't do, but I want to do because he's been such He's put my kids through college, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know. So I tell him, hey. Hey, uh, Jerry, uh, I just want you to know next week's going to be a great time. It's your birthday, I know, and, uh, you know, uh, Susie's going to do something special for you, and I'm kind of arranging it because you're a great customer. And he goes, what? I go, well, she, you know, wants to, you know, have fun with you, you know, make you happy. Make Mr. Happy happy. Mm -hmm. No, no, man. What are you talking about? He goes, I can't do that because that's that's where I cross the line. The fantasy's over. So he doesn't go mm. that he wants it in his mind. Yeah. But when it's really going to happen, no. And he just keeps pounding her with the with the cash, you know, because he's saving her from this terrible life. Right. It, you know, right. It's, there's a oh, whole listen, psychological. I, there's a thing lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. stuff. I well, try to help guys because I I lived it. You know, I see yeah. it. You know, but they don't want my help. Well, yeah, yeah they're, they're they, going to get conned and. Oh, and oh, they do. Oh, every day I, 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 I go. Yeah. You're being played, man. Played. Yeah. You're being played. But we're so yeah. ignorant. Yeah. 
We this is the way we are in politics anyway. Mm-hmm. This is the, we are played constantly, constantly exactly. by the news, by yep. politicians. We are played right. all the time. And our egos are such that we don't want to believe it. Just happened to yeah. just happened the other day with me and Ross in, in Miami. Oh really? I, not a full play. Yeah, but, but you were. They were they were playing us up, but I played them back. Good. Oh yeah, Good. I, I reversed it. Now here's my problem with fantasies these yeah, days. Yeah, tell me. I have such low self esteem <laughs> when it comes to women that in my own fantasy, while fantasizing, you know what we, what we do when we fantasize. They shoot me down in my own fantasy. Wow. So I have to believe wow. that they would want me, which is down to no one, Ooh. for me to Ouch. pleasure myself because I have put a visual up there, right? We so all you're, do. even before you get going, you're done. Well, I start. Yeah. And then she goes, Are you kidding? <laughs> and I go, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is my dream. I'm creating this. That's how bad it is. As oh, I can't no. even think that they would yeah. ever want this guy that's how that's how really? it is so i have no fantasies anymore but what about the humor that's a great way to get to a girl i've i've is, been yeah. very very fortunate with my humor and a lot of girls like to laugh they like funny guys okay they yeah, do yeah, like funny it's guys. happening yeah. lately it uh, is oh, pete yeah. davidson's like the uh can i ask you a question about he's pete like Davidson? he's like the pete? brad pitt of his era here pete davidson right ariana grande oh the list is right the kate he, beckinsdale it's not his personality it's not his Neanderthal look. This man must be African American from the waist down. I mean, let's be honest with each other. Well, no, they say I that, love the guy, but they come said on. that is the case. It is. And this guy's but incredible. Women, but women could have that. I, mean, I know, but, but they could, right, have, they could have that large. But wow. But he's a funny guy. See, he's a but funny guy. Yeah. I guess so. He definitely doesn't have traditional good looks. <laughs> no. You know, no, when we grew up, you had it, there was a good look. Like you yeah. knew what a good look was. Right. It's completely changed. No. In my fraternity, uh, my buddy just came to town, uh, Big Flip. He came with his wife and his son, and we had a good time. I took him to the 20th Century Fox commissary where, we, where I used to work. We had a great time. And it's it's one of those things. Girls love good-looking guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of those things they do. But I always tell them that only lasts so long. That's even what with, I say. Even with a girl, too. Oh, absolutely. Girl, the looks are fleeting. Baby, you oh. know, after – listen. After you see them, after you talk to them, it's over. They got to have something to back it up, right? They have to have some game. The only thing sustainable and scalable is a sense of humor. It's the only thing that will keep you together. Everything falls apart. You have game, but there's no way you're going to look that way for the rest of your life. No, everybody ages. Some people age better than others, and that's life. I mean, the whole thing is, is like. You see people, you know, they're, it's like the high school quarterback, right? Oh, oh man, yeah. right? He got – he peaked early. Then you go to the reunion. You go to the reunion, yeah. Oh. And you, you have to look at his his his, uh, <laughs> his name tag with his picture. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Butch? Uh, you look great. Oh, oh, is that unbelievable? When right? You, when you, you have to read the name tag. I'm have, I have a That's big, how bad yeah. it is lately. It's you know, true. I'm me. going to my reunion this year, and I'm like, I'm scared. Because I don't yeah. want to offend it. I don't, I, I don't like hurting people's feelings. No. Right? You don't want to. Like, I studied the yearbook before I go. <laughs> I love it. I, I do. Do you? you I had this one, sure? t- yeah. one time. I, I really do know people's names. I have a theory on this why I have a great long-term memory okay. is because our initial hurts and our initial pain happened then. So, therefore, we live our lives to heal that pain of mostly women and mostly bad guys that picked on us and stuff like bullies, that. Right. So, the bullies, we remember. So, we have an emotional attachment to it. And we have emotional attachment to the women that spurned us. Right? So, right, that's why right. we have such a great memory from the past because it's so deep. That's when it happened. When we were forming as people. You know, you're a kid and you're forming your body, your mind, and all your spirit. That's all being formed at the time. And imagine, boom, you get damaged. Boom, uh, you get damaged. Yeah. It sticks with you. True. So therefore, like half of the time I'm ready to, you know, go on a television show and I hope they're watching those 13 girls that didn't go to the prom with me. <laughs> right. This is literally what I think. Right. It's like you're going to get some sort of revenge, but you don't. There's nobody at home going, damn it, I missed out on him. Right. Oh, no, they're, they're not. They're not. No. They're, and I, I have a big heart for people because I was a fat kid, believe it or not. I swallowed a lot of aggression along with a lot of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> what movie? What movie? Oh, I don't know. Stripes. Stripes. Oh, okay. John Candy. Oh, Dewey Oxberger. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I was picked on. So I know fat jokes. You're this. I look at people. I, I, I just I always want that bully or that girl that shunned me or others. Sure. To apologize. You know, yeah. Why don't you make amends now? It's okay. Yeah. It's 25, 30 years later, but just go, I was young and stupid yeah. and I'm sorry. Yeah. You know how, how far that goes, right? It's funny you yeah. should say that. I just had a, a guy from my school, grade school, pass away 
the other day. Sorry. And they said he was alone. Wow. And I felt really bad about the way he was treated. I really ha- it hit my uh, heart. See? Because yeah. and and I did it. I wasn't he liked me. And even his sister on Facebook said, "Oh, he always liked you." Uh, he was a complete loner. And we wow. made we uh, you know, if it if yeah. it was if it's now he'd be on the spectrum. It was like one of those. And we used to, we used to go, Irving. We used to call him Irving. His name wasn't his Andy. It was but we called him Irving because he had these Irving glasses and everything. And we made fun of him. And I just thought about him. And I was just like, man, what a life. You know, I had some tough times back then, but not like this. Right. This was a he was a caricature of like somebody you pick on, and it was really really bad. And it, I joined in even a little bit. I feel bad about. But I always wonder: Are the ones who really do it? Are they conscious? Are they having this conversation today, wanting to make amends? That's, that's really interesting. I, you say that. Yeah, I believe I wholeheartedly that what you put out in life comes back to you. So, yeah. if you're a bully and you've ridiculed people all your life, you're going to be Miserable. alone in life. Your Miserable. kids won't even yeah. be around. You know what I'm saying? I have. Oh, people, I've I've run into you, them. You know prison. Oh. Prison. Absolutely. I know this one guy. Oh, tortured me in eighth grade. Ugh. He would literally. I was the center on the football team. It was a one fifteen oh. pound football team, but I was really tiny. I was like seventy pounds. And you were the center. I was the center oh, because God. I knew I would touch the ball all the time. I was oh. new to the school. <laughs> okay. I wanted to be popular, oh. so I went out for the football team. It was a really great team, except for the center. <laughs> so, oh but I knew I could see hike. that center. Huh? I knew I could hike a ball. You know what I mean? And I would just you know get in the guy's way if he was rushing. Right. You know? right. It's kind. Of, it's a kind of it's kind of like, a smart move in a lot and of ways. You don't ways. get exposed that much. Yeah. Because yeah. I would go to my friend Brett. Elia, he was next to me. I go, hey man, help me with this block, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it'd be yeah. me and Brett double teaming the guy. Oh, I love it. And, yeah. and you were your job was just to make sure the football got into the quarterback's hands. Or that yeah, was the major yeah, job. Yeah. Right. So they would release me from the huddle ahead of everyone else. Yeah, they'd go, you know, thirty-two red dog, you know, wide receiver screen on two, ready, break, right, right. So you'd say the, the play, and he would go, and then I get dismissed, and he says it a second time to the huddle, and then they all break. So I would go out first to go get the ball and you know get it ready and all that kind of stuff. He, instead of saying he would say good snap, but it wasn't like good. Hey, good snap, my friend, who's also my teammate. He would go good snap. He punched me in the face. Punch me in the face. I was wobbling going up to the what? line. Oh, punched me. What? If? Yeah, Pete Donahue was his name. Pete, what, what, what's Pete going on with that, Pete? I think he's in prison. <laughs> I think, but yeah, Pete's not doing too well right but now. But karmically, I, I always wonder, like somebody like Pete Donahue. Is he today yeah. saying I was an asshole? Because he really was an absolute asshole. Yeah. So mean, no, non apologetic whatsoever. Some of the worst days of my life were getting wedgies in the locker room. They put my head in a toilet and just rip my underwear. So I had no underwear. I was so embarrassed that I. I had this shredded underwear. I wouldn't show my mom because oh she would go God. to school and report them and stuff like that. They hung me by a locker by my underwear and what? said it was wing. Ch- they said oh it was wind chimes and bang your legs together. So this is what they did. It was like a, a coyote wilding. You know, uh. they would get a hold of me. And it was gang mentality. He was the leader, but I wonder, you know, what yeah. it's like for him. That's to so live fun. like that. I had a moment where I, I'm all about reunions. I love planning reunions. I love to I'm see the same people. way. Yeah. You're like me. Love people coming together yeah, and right. seeing and smiling right. and laughing. Yeah. So I had a sixth grade reunion. Is this, you, you grew up here? Grew up in L.A., in yeah. LA Went to yeah. Roscommon Road Elementary, Emerson You did Junior not. High. Yes. I know your theme song. Oh, you know my theme song to Roscommon Road? We go to Roscommon Road. Oh, my God. Wonderful Roscommon oh, Road. No. How do you know this? We, <laughs> your kids go there? Yeah, one oh, did. Oh, really? Great Roscoe. school, still is great school today. David Bo, David yes. Bo went there. Did David he go with Bo, you? my buddy, yeah. And did he go? His kids da- went there. David Bo's kids. David Bo went to junior high and high school with me. He did he, not. Absolutely, I grew up with David Bo. I don't talk to him anymore. Not David him. Bowie, everyone. Oh, not David Bowie. No. It was <laughs> David Bowie. Brad didn't co write. <laughs> no, 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 not, not that Bo. <laughs> it's Bo, not Bowie. <laughs> but another friend of mine, you know, you know, you get the long picture with all your, your, you know. Sure. And then on the back, your friends would, like the yearbook, you'd sign, hey, yeah. how you, Craig, you know, have a great summer, blah, 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 whatever. Right. So I had the original picture. So I showed one of my friends and it said, hey, fatso, fatty. And he put his name. And I swear to God, this guy has never really shows emotion. I saw tears in his eyes. And he goes, did I really do that to you? Wow. Did I really say that and treat you that way? I go, you did, man. He goes, wow. He goes, I'm sorry. 
Because it was his writing. He you saw show, his. You showed this to I him. I showed it to him because I, and I was just showing him the picture and he turned it around and he saw, he goes, where am I? I go, oh, you're on there. And he saw it and he's like, oh. And it was a nice moment because That's he a great saw yeah. saw what he did and he apologized. And he, he, wow. I, I took the apology because. Of course. Did, right? Well, that's wonderful. Those are moments that so I'll he did have that healing moment. Yeah. And I think people can make amends. Yeah. It's not too late. You know, oh, it's too late. I can't apologize to him. Oh, here's, no. the, here's one. Yeah. I don't want to remind them. Like, oh, like oh. it hasn't stuck with them their entire <laughs> right. lives, which is why we became comedians. Oh, I no. I don't want to remind them. Same way with the, like offering condolences if somebody dies. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to remind them, but they, they know that it happened. They know that their parents died right. or whatever it is. So you don't have to worry about that. I, I love that you brought that up, though. And this show is called Enlightened Up. And we really do try to offer, uh, along with porn, porn stories and everything else, <laughs> of course. we try to offer some suggestions to people. And I will tell you, my wife actually compliments me. She goes, you make amends. Uh, like It's like it's unbelievable. Nice. It's like she admires that I do it. And I said, well, why don't you try it? Like I say this to other people. I say, you know, it's so freeing to do, but our egos stop us from doing it. It's so, it's that like they, it's not like they don't know. You know, you're not fooling them. Right. So since you're not fooling them, be honest about it and say that you have regret or that you're sorry for it and don't do it again. Totally agree with and, you. But our society is so backwards when it comes oh to Oh my God. You, you think it's weakness. It, that's it. To oh me, my God, you read my mind. Vulnerability is a superpower. I've used it as a superpower. I think you like me because of my vulnerability. Like you've right. liked me for years, but we're not that close. Right. I had to like ask you for your cell phone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, but, that but, was but kind of weird. I, th- I, w- yeah. I would agree. I would think that you would agree with me that that's probably what you like about me for even years later. And we both remember when we met because of that. I like you from hello. Yeah. But I liked you when I met you at uh, Jess Party. We sat down and yeah. we hadn't seen each other, and we just kind of right. picked up where we left right. off. Yeah. And you started telling me these real, like, real intimate stories about your life, and we were laughing and giggling, and then we, you know, exchanged numbers and whatever. And now we're here today. But it's like we haven't missed a beat. There are certain people in your life you meet, and you're like, you know what? I like you because I can tell that you are vulnerable. Yeah. A, a real man can show his feelings. Right. You know, if, yeah. if I see a guy crying. I mean, I saw, oh, I watch American Idol because I like the moment that people can be something that they've always dreamed about. Wow, okay? yeah, they're living so a dream. So Jimmy, yeah. uh, oh, I forgot his last name. A great. Uh, he was, he, he um, tried out for American Idol. Okay. And then years later, he became a, uh, um, uh, he's an African-American singer, but he's a uh, country music star. Okay. Great. Jimmy something. Right? All right. And he started crying when these people, these contestants said, oh, my God, and you remind me of this. And, and then he said, God, that moment reminded me. And he starts crying. I love that guy. Yeah. Because he can show his vulnerability and he can show his real feelings. You know, you're, all con- these, you're yeah. connecting with someone's true heart. True. You're not creating what you're not connecting. You can't connect with an image. If someone is image conscious and worried about and they're not honest, then they become phony. Right. And it all becomes a cover up. You and I know successful people. Yes. The reason we bond, the reason I bond with Ross Mark, who is, you know, is there is this, we have a, a knowing that could, because we've been there, we've been around it, right. we know that they're not happy. when they Oh, get, true. The non-vulnerable, the tough, acting tough, it is acting tough. Putting up the wall. No one's yeah. really tough. No. No one. Nobody. And I know UFC champions. Yeah. No one is truly tough. We have an illusion that they're tough. And- even if they are, you wouldn't want their life because no. they're completely cut off from their emotions and their vulnerability and their love. You can't have love if you are constantly in that state of wanting more and getting over on people and controlling people. You can't. If you're vulnerable, there's the true ethereal connection that we all want to have with one another. I, when you go back to your reunions, yeah, that's what you're having with people. Right. Because all that other stuff is out. You don't care what they did. By the way, the yeah. more time that goes by after high school, the less you lie about your resume. <laughs> right. I remember this. I one. batted 352 for the Phillies when at my right. fifth year reunion. <laughs> right, right, okay. right, right. <laughs> right. Right. And you were in uh, the uh, you were in Rocky One, weren't you? Yeah, in Philly, right? You were in... I actually was. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Taps. Oh, you were in Taps with John Taps. Penn and, and Oh, you Cruz. remember that movie? Yeah. Oh, great I was movie. In Taps and a whole bunch I, of other little uh, witness. I, I like humble people. Yeah. I like people that make it and they are humble. They're like, I met Dennis Franz on NYPD Blue. Oh, he, God. what a man. I worked on the pilot. 
because of David Milch and Stephen Bochco. Yeah. And he rest in peace, Stephen. They gave me this part from working in the commissary. I was the bartender. Incredible. And, and I worked with Dennis six times on NYPD Blue, and I was walking to our trailers. And I said, so what do you think, buddy? I go, he goes, let me tell you something, Brad. I'm the luckiest guy on the face of the earth. I've been playing a cop for my whole career, and mm-hmm. I will go all the way to the end of this show mm-hmm. until the bubble bursts, and I, you will not see me ever again on TV. I will be with my wife and my kids because they gave me the, the mm-hmm. time and the mm-hmm. opportunity to do what I loved, and I will yeah. never forget that. Right. Remember what I said, and guess what? You haven't seen him only when him and Jimmy Smits came out at the Emmys to give the Best Drama uh, Award. That's the last time you saw him. Wow. And I have so much respect for a guy like that because, I mean, let's talk sports for a second. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, right? No debate. He retired. Okay. Yeah. Craig. Yeah. The light turns off. You move on in your life to another Mm -hmm. chapter. You don't come back. And sadly enough, quote me here, he's going to get popped. And he's not going to go out the way he – he's not going to win another champion. I'm just – I'm sorry. I'm just being realistic. When it's over – Michael Jordan, Sugar Ray Leonard. When it's over, it's over. And when they try to have a comeback, uh, Muhammad Ali. There it is. Muhammad Ali yeah. being pummeled in the corner Pummel- by Larry Holmes. Exactly. Come and on. it's so sad to see. Oh, it breaks my heart. Yeah. This is why I'm glad I'm a comedian, because we can go all the way to the end. <laughs> yeah, right. I mentioned Rickles. Yep. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. Keep doing how, it. How about yeah. uh, Milton Burrow? All the way to the end. All George the- Burns. All the way to the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bob Newhart still going at uh, th- this is what, this is yeah. what's so good for us. That's what, this laughter we make people is so laugh, rich, right. exactly, and character actors. And there's yeah. the vulnerability. Yeah, there, there it is, right there, because we expose those other parts of ourselves and other people where we all become one. You're not pretending that you're somebody else. That's the Absolutely. thing about somebody. That's it. We're all the same. That we're, Some of us are same. luckier than others. Go for your trip. But again, I cry like you. I put yeah. my pants on the same way. Right. Forget about money, cars, it doesn't, houses, who cares? Just be loved and happy and grateful and help people. By the way, if, yeah. if I have a house like Franklin's, right? Oh, God, talk, uh, talk to me about that. 85 million. That's, what, it's, million. that's for sale for 85 I know. million. I'm trying to sell it. The right. Altman brothers, aren't they? Oh, yes, the Altman can you, brothers. Can you bring somebody in? Uh, oh, believe me, I'm trying. Oh, my God. you got Imagine connect. a little commission oh, of that. Oh, forget 85 it. 85 million. Let's find somebody. Oh. So, so this is what I want to do mm-hmm. is... I want to make the money, believe it or not, not for me and not for a home that I'm showing people, a home that I can have people in, that they can have the time of their lives. Everyone I've ever brought to that party, which when I ran into you, any party I've ever seen you, I always bring two people with me that would go, wow, this is an amazing experience. I didn't know that. I don't care about me anymore. Uh. Or I go front row of the Lakers because my ex owns the Lakers. Uh, and, and I take people front row, and I just watch them. I watch this guy flew up from Florida, one of my cl- coaching wait, wait, clients. Wait, did you go out with uh... – Jeannie, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you. Yeah, we, we're really close to I the thing. She's, her, Aunt, she's think... the best. She's Will you Aunt set me up my, with her, And Jeannie to my you kids. You said – I want to She's go with a the... comic right now. Who she with? Madly in love. Oh, no. Yeah. I missed my oh, time. Oh, no, is right. I, I missed it, huh? Yeah, she's madly in love. Oh. I started her okay, down the – Okay, if things – I hope things work out. I'm the <laughs> next guy. You're I will close the deal. Guess who I she love dated her. right before him? No way. I wonder if you can guess. Wait, we've wait. said his name. We've she, said his name today. Okay, she somebody that can hang on the that guy level. that she's dating now. Yes, correct. She it's the owner of the Lakers, Jeannie Buss. Bus dated. She's Aunt Jeannie to my kids. Okay. We dated in 1997. Oh my, oh, I, I, We're still I, really tight. I have and so I much take respect people, from her. I take people. Oh, she's oh, the best. She's the best. People don't even what understand. What is Phil Jackson? Why would you uh, not marry her? I mean, she's What awesome. about Craig Shoemaker? Why yeah, well, her? exactly. I was going to get to you next. But, uh, <laughs> she is dating, oh my God, a comic. Well, right now she's dating a comic, yes, oh, okay. but she dated but, oh. a guy you mentioned today oh, earlier. Okay. Carrot Top? For, okay. a little, <laughs> I love for a little Scott. while she dated, for like okay. we, a few weeks. Oh, a few weeks she dated this she guy. She dated okay. somebody that you have mentioned here. Okay. So a, a high up guy. A, high, a higher very up, high up a guy. Very high up guy. Yes, um, you've see. mentioned him earlier. Let's see. Uh, nice and you're, it's going to shock you. Oh, my way. God. She dated him for a couple of weeks. For, uh, yeah. A couple yes, of weeks. Uh, for sure. You already hit me with Larry it. David. <laughs> what? <laughs> they dated when, in between his marriage now and, and the first marriage. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is probably about four years ago. I would ago, love to get I'll be a fly on the wall there. <laughs> wow. That Okay. Genie bus story. Yeah. Uh, do you know who... Um, 
what's his name? Uh, remember, he uh, he had the great parties. Um, uh, a lawyer. He always had these parties. Drive around in his purple. Singer? No, uh, Paul Fe- Feig. Paul oh. Feig. You know, you know Paul uh, Feig. Feigen. Paul Feig. Oh no, Feig is Paul a comedian. Paul Feigen. All right. Okay. As a uh, lawyer in Beverly okay. Hills, he used to have half kind of parties yeah. in his house. And I was at the last uh, Paul Fijian party that I was ever going to go to. And there was Jeannie Buss mm-hmm. and um, the sportscaster from uh, ESPN uh, uh, with the glasses. Um, oh, God, I forgot his name. Um, this is a classic story. Stuart Scott? No, no, no. God bless him. No. No. Um, you know, he was on, oh my God, he was incredible. He was like on, and then he had his own show. Um, uh, what is his name? ESPN. ESPN, early days, early days. Glasses, uh, baseball. Um, uh, main All right. Na- na- yeah, okay. So she, so oh, she, oh, she dated him for a couple you know, minutes. You know who I'm Keith talking. Olbermann. Keith Olbermann. I'm standing next to them. Yes. Five, four. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait, this well, is, oh, you, New Year's Eve. You New will Eve. not believe this. Don't tell me you were there, too. She told me the story oh, told, from okay, a whole other perspective. Tr- I'm standing I, I'm there. I'm going to bring the producer in. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, my God. Come this in. is the I'm greatest. I'm going to whisper into his ear, story. and I want to know if you're going to say the same story okay, I'm gonna, that I'm she s- told me. Okay. Come yeah, on in here, okay. somebody. I'm going to whisper to him. This is crazy. It's I'm to be st- crazy if it's if you're telling me. I can't believe there's a witness to this. No, I want two witnesses. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. La 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 Let me look at my phone and see if anybody right, likes me. Here we go. Here we go. Nobody okay, likes so me. Okay, so I just told him okay. what she told me. Which so Paul what, Fijian party. Okay. Jeannie Buss looking super Unbelievable. hot. I mean, this wasn't she's that super long hot ago. now. But oh my yeah, God, yeah. this is maybe 15, maybe. No, maybe, less. Maybe 12. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I am standing there by myself. I couldn't mm-hmm. get in with anybody. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'm. I'm trying to be, you know, and it's New Year's, and you want to, like, you know, maybe and hug Keith somebody. Keith Olbermann, tall guy tall with glasses. Guy, glasses. She's standing next to him. Ivy League guy, five, very smart. Smart. Five, four, no, three, two, one. I'm looking to see if he's going to kiss her. He high fives her. Gordon. I said, what Gordon, the fuck what are you thinking, you? Olbermann? You jackass I motherfucker! Believe, I can't wait to call you her after this. High five! I cannot wait to call her after this. The hottest girl. But she had a witness to it. She I told was me. standing right says, in front of him. She says, "Shoe monkey." She calls me shoe. She goes, "Shoe monkey." I'm on a date with him. You he high fived me at New Year's. I just I whispered at the court. Sta- I swear to God. I swear to God, I was right there. I of course you were. You're right. not I making this up. Will you? Unbelievable. Will you that tell her so that? I, would you tell her that I have to meet her? That you meet her one day. Of course. I. I'm going to tell you something. That's a right. I start crying. Yeah. Oberman, look at that. Look at you. You are a she, fucking I, nerd. I thought they were at dinner. She, she told me the same story. She goes, who would that? not want to kiss me at New Year's? I and I, I don't s- know. I know one. <laughs> Keith Oberman, high five. <laughs> what the fuck is he thinking? I just whispered at the Gordon. I can't believe you witnessed I this. Swear, and you know what I said? To She's going to die. This, this is, is my last get- party. And I never went back to another party because it's hilarious. I'm like, if Keith Oberman is not going to start, I mean, do a Potsy Weber and stick his <laughs> tongue down her throat Potsy and give Weber. her a high five, Tommy Lasorda true, style. True story. I'm out of here. And I, wow. I never went back. I never went back. Is that great? Is that, can that go top But top? she does love funny guys. To, uh, well, okay. can I say, I hope she works out with her. But if not, I'd like to meet She's her. with Jay Moore now. Jay Moore. Yes. Are you kidding? No way. For a while. For a while. I know yeah. Jay Moore. Wait a minute. Isn't Jay Moore still. No, no. Oh, Jay Moore's not with the no, not with Las Vegas. No. Oh my no. God, he's been with. I know Jay TV very well. We I warmed up the, the Jeff Foxworthy show. Apparently not well enough. Not well <laughs> for the last Jesus. couple of years. I haven't seen him a lot. Jay Moore and yeah. her dating. Jay Moore was on the Jeff Foxworthy. Show? Jeff Morgan was played his brother. What? Yeah, tell Jay I say I love Jay. I do Jay's not. A good I man. do not remember. But if it that. doesn't work out with Jay, if Jay goes off the, off I'll the rails, sure, I'll make sure if I say he goes hi off the rails. from Brad. And also, if it doesn't work out, if you want a nice Brad, Jewish boy? Brad is right there. I'm right here. All right, man. Passover. Hey, folks. While he's praying, and Don, 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 over here. What's I just can't even believe that. 
I was so I, I had such a good time with you. The time oh, went man. by very fast. I will come back anytime. Do you know how long you've been on? Four hours, I think, is our show. Where are the <laughs> snacks? This one, your wonderful producer. I'm looking them. for snacks. We have them. Somebody tell me you have light snacks. We do. We have snacks. I was going to steal some and okay. take, them in, take them with me. You can do them right in front I of me. I want to okay. pledge to you, Craig yes. Shoemaker, yes. that we do a show like Fox Across America. We I'm should. not fucking around. I think, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beautiful light snacks. Sponsored by Sun oh. Chips. Oh, <laughs> speaking of that, the opposite of snacks, I have vitamins for you. Oh these are the best vitamins. Are They're you called sure? Highest Vitamins. They're one of our sponsors. Can I? Can, uh, my dad wanted molec- me to get him some Centrum. Molecular I'll get, I'll get Hydrogen. This is like way beyond My dad that. is 89 and three and quarters. He Will that be good for him? because okay. it's great for your okay. memory, energy, oh, focus. Okay. That's want, what this I is about. Okay. okay, these are great. Okay. And if you want to get more, because yeah. it not, it's not always going to be free. It's not an unlimited supply. Do you have supply. to call Jay Moore and get some of that? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Highestvitamins.com. Okay. And you mentioned Laughter Heals, and they give you 20% discount. I'm and 15% goes back to our Laughter Heals, Done. which I told you earlier we formed because my best friend got brain cancer. Ugh. He lived 15 years because he added laughter to his God life. God bless him. That's what we've been trying to say all day uh, here. Catch those. And here, this is even better. What else do I get? Oh, my party? Not that we're raised, this, yes, we have what party is this like? What is this? The, these coal uh, Hollywood the, squares. Ethan Cole, uh, hardly those gift baskets. I still have some of the shit <laughs> yes, thing. So. They were the best gift ever. Oh, so Ethan Cole candles. These are this is lavender, rosemary, mint. Oh. Smell this. It's the most and it has a what, wood wick. Is that for my mom? It's her birthday today. Oh my she's god! 81. She's gonna flip for this uh, candle. I, uh, oh, that it's candle? a very pricey uh, candle. Okay, she's I, gonna I can give that to her as a gift from you. You didn't get this for me, did you? <laughs> you didn't get. There's no way you spent this kind of money. I know you. You're my son. I gave birth to you. There's no way you, you got me a candle money. that cost this. Much. You got it for free, didn't you? <laughs> Don't, I hate that my family does that. Where'd you get this for free? They, buddy, they buddy, interrogate wait. me. Just take the damn I'm gift. Sure, I'm, I'm still trying to process Jay Moore and Jimmy <laughs> Buss. I'm still trying to process that. Sorry, Jay. Oh my God, buddy, this is great, man. Yeah. I oh, love. Smell it. Smell okay. it. Oh, uh, it's all natural. The it's no chemicals in oh, that. My Your God. mom's my, gonna flip oh, out. My she's gonna, gonna go, know that you didn't pick my, it out yourself. She's gonna know I did not <laughs> buy this for her. And I got chips for me. Yeah, this for my chips. dad. Yes. You, can I come on the show tomorrow? You're good. You're good. Uh, you can come. Uh, absolutely Greg, come back. Greg, this has been so much fun. Thank you. Me, We're going to hey, tape everybody. You heard it here first. We're going to do something across the globe yes, uh, with, with the two of us. We'll go across the globe and, and, and meet people because that's what we like to do. That's the show. It's Let's organic to us. Let's it's, do it. Let's it's organic people. to us because we like putting people together. Yes. We like lifting and uplifting and Absolutely. adding light yes. to people. So oh, man, what's your it. social media? Where How can we stay uh, in touch uh, with uh, you? B. Grunny. Uh, I'm at B. Grunny on IG. All right. Uh, B. Grunny on Facebook. Uh, Twitter, B. Grunny. I'm B. Grunny everywhere. B. Grunny. All B. right. B. Grunny. I and guess I'll his tell brother must be G. Grunny. I, there you go. <laughs> I think he's, no, just Grunny. Oh, okay. He goes like, I let him have Grunny. I went. <laughs> okay. I'm I like, Jay I like, Moore and Jeannie. Uh, no. Yeah, I hate to I can't let this happen. No, I'm kidding, Jay. You're as, so you're as shocked as he was when I told him I dated her. You should have seen his face. No, I'm. We were I'm doing a sh- podcast I'm together. I'm not sh- shocked about that because you're a really good guy. No, but but she is. So his face beautiful. was a little bit of shock. She is the best. You know why? I and love she's her? a great person. She's That's one what of I the best tell. people you will ever meet in your life. Really smart. Have you seen, by the way, winning the the story of the no, Lakers? No, oh, I'm, oh, I taped them all, but I'm oh, no, no, I can't wait. Oh. But is it all rush? Yeah, rush to go see this. Say, it's so the, good. Like, Kareem, all these guys are coming. Is this all true? Yeah. Okay. And I, right. I got the verification. Oh, by the, the way. Oh, I, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really? True. Uh, by yeah. the way, Jeannie's part is very accurate. She's she's not going. Ah, that's not me. No, it's pretty oh, damn accurate. Enough. It's a really I good really show. Like Adam her. Adam uh, McKay, the director, yeah. oh, who was awesome. a doorman, by the way, at the, Laugh, uh, at the Comedy Factory outlet where I grew no up. No way. Philly. He's from Philadelphia. Went to yeah. Temple, same as me. Oh. Anyway, Adam McKay always does things for farce. You know, it's like really exaggerated. And it is exaggerated, but it's actually a big kernel of truth beyond okay, all, right. all the- I tape them all. I'm going to watch it. Oh, you've got to- uh, But you know why Jeannie is, really has a soft spot in my heart? Jeannie, I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> she, when the Magic Johnson thing happened, she stuck by him. She handled it like- a, an adult, a she sweet does. person, yeah. a person with a heart. You know, she didn't jump on anybody. No, you she know, never does. I they love just her. fired God. their coach. I know. And, she's I know. not coming out and saying he's no, an ant, no, you know? no, no, no. no she, she's, she is really special. She's good. Her she's dad, good people. I loved her she's, dad. Her dad did a great job. Yeah, she's yeah. on an old podcast of mine too. And I went to her house. Oh, really? for it. it was oh, hilarious. God. What is Jim like? My oh. buddy. I'm going to start hanging out with Jim. Right, Jim Bus, the brother. The brother. Well, Johnny, Johnny, twin brother. No, Johnny, the brother, owns the Ice House now. Oh, they renovated it and it's opening. 
coming soon. Johnny owns the ice. One of the oh top comedy God. clubs in the country. I recorded three That's, albums there. Oh. Johnny Bus now owns that. That's great. They've always loved comedy, the Bus family, and I'm so happy that you were here with comedy. I'm what about happened to Jim? I'm looking, what for, happened a, to I'm looking for a segue out of here. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Love you, Jeannie. Follow Brad. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> coming for you i'm coming oh for you. gruddy be gruddy I love you, hey i hope you had a wonderful time as good as i had today and uh right. learned something inspired by something laughed at something were grossed out by something sure i don't care whatever it was you all need to enlighten the fuck up i'll see you the next time <laughs>